Today, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about growth hormone, and I have a confession to make. I've been cheating in my weight loss and my metabolism for years. I naturally have a high growth hormone level. I'm joking, I'm not really cheating, but I just naturally have a high level, and I can tell you, if I exercise for two or three days in a row, I see a physical change very quickly. And I started noticing this really when I was in my 20s, um, and I started, I was in early in functional medicine and, and anti-aging medicine, and I started watching my IGF-1 levels. That's what labs you're gonna wanna check. Insulin-like growth factor number one. And I started noticing that my natural levels were above 350. Um, and so I can tell you, I can feel that. I can make changes really quickly with my physique. And if you may be able to associate that, you know, let's say, you're 45 and you're watching this and you remember 20 years ago, you could work out in the gym a couple times and you would lose weight, you would gain muscle. And now you could be working out every day, you could be pushing yourself hard, you could be eating all the right things and you still can't seem to get the weight off and it's incredibly frustrating and one of the biggest reasons is a suboptimal or a low growth hormone level. And growth hormone helps all the cells in your body replicate and recover. So think about cognitive function, your focus and your memory, your quality of sleep, your skin health, your hair health, um, fat mass, you'll gain more fat with a lower growth hormone level, you'll lose muscle mass um, with a low growth hormone level. And it can affect things that a lot of people don't really associate or know about, like cholesterol and heart disease and your diabetes risk. And I could go on and on, Growth hormone is a powerful, important tool that you need for anti-aging or for aging gracefully in addition to your weight loss goals. So um, optimal levels of growth hormone level are IGF-1 is a, anywhere from 180 to 250. And some people give a narrow range, 180 to 220, or some variation, five or 10 points of that. All right, now, how do we naturally get it better? better quality of sleep, diet, and exercise. Um, but sometimes those things alone are just not enough. And sometimes you're not sleeping well because your growth hormone's low. So it's kind of like, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? And so bottom line, we wanna try to get the growth hormone levels up as quickly as we can in a safe, effective way. The best way to do this, I love it, I recommend it all the time, is to use a peptide. Okay, a peptide is an amino acid blend that stimulates your body to produce more growth hormone on its own. So it's a, think of it like a super vitamin for your body that helps the pituitary gland make more growth hormone. And that's a powerful tool. It's not addictive, it's not habit forming. You can come off of it um, without growth hormone levels dropping back down uh, because you're dependent upon it. It just stimulates your body to make more on its own. In the first month that you're using these, a lot of times you can notice better quality of sleep pretty quickly and cognitive benefit like focus, memory, or maybe energy getting out of the bed in the morning. And then month two, month three, month four, those symptoms and those benefits continue to get better and better with time. Um, typically we just help people be on it for three to six months before you really judge the dose or the particular peptide, the type of peptide that we have you on in terms of weight loss and full maximum benefit, but it does make a tremendous difference. Um, and there's lots of different options. There's general peptides that help stimulate um, just your overall growth hormone production. There's one specific for sleep. There's one specific for weight loss. There's one specific for inflammation and injury recovery. So there's a lot of advancements being made in this field and you're gonna get them from a compounding pharmacy by prescription. So you wanna use a provider that understands peptide therapy and has experience and training in that, which is part of what we do here at Restore You Wellness. So if you have any questions, uh, please shoot us an email, go to our website. We're gonna post a blog all about growth hormone and how it relates to weight loss um, here in just a moment. And we would be happy to answer your questions and help you any way we can. Have a great day.